Okay, this is the overlook of the artificial intelligence course that I will be teaching. As you can see, uh, it's in Canvas, and you've got the first column of things on the left there, which are very typical. Then the second column is kind of, uh, so it's customized wherever you're teaching. Uh, has most of the same things in there, but you can see I've got MDC resources, circle in, tidy up, brain views, etc. So the students, when they're coming into here, they've got this front page which will have the announcements. It's not live at the moment, it doesn't start till the summer. And then you've got your information here, artificial intelligence. Now on this front page as well, you've got these links. Start here, modules, MDC resources, student right and responsibilities, MDC library, and help and support. I'll come back to those in a moment. You've got my welcome there with my information, and then you've got the navigation tip, which is right here. You've got the class overview, instructor information, and guides. Now, back up here to start here, if I click on there, it takes you to the modules page. These are almost the same pages. I'm going to go down to the MDC resources. If I click on there, it actually goes to this page. And this is the MDC resources for students. And this is a massive college with a lot of resources. So you can see here you've got Canvas overviews, quizzes, scholarships, meet with a tutor, all kinds of things that you could possibly want there. Now if I go to this next one, which is students' rights and responsibilities, that takes you to this page here and you've got everything that you could possibly want here. Um, looking at here, you've got academic calendars, all kinds of stuff, drug-free college, uh, learning outcomes, all, you name it, there's everything that you could possibly want on this page for student rights and responsibilities. Now I'm going back to this main page again now, and I'm going down to the library itself. The learning resources here in the library, and here we've got learning resources. And you can see you can get tutoring labs and technology, research tools, all kinds of things that you've got here. You can connect with a tutor, you can connect with a librarian, skill shops, all kinds of things here. And I'm not going to read these because there's just too much information. But you say, basically put it into three areas. Research tools and services, tutoring labs and technology, library information and everything that you want there. So I'm going back to the main page of the course. Here we are. And you can see that all those things are right there on the top for students to look at. And if I go into the modules, I can go from there or on the left here. There again is information for the students. Class information start here. Student resources. And then you go straight into module one. Now just a note here, you can see the points that are awarded for any kind of assessments or anything the student is going to have to complete.